Researchers have successfully linked the minds of two humans. So how does this brain-on-brain -brain action play out? Earlier in the summer, we told you guys about a study linking the brains of humans and rats. This experiment let the human participant trigger the part of the rat's brain that moves their tail, making it do that on command. Which left some of us wondering, is it possible between two people? Well, just a short few weeks later, brain-to-brain -brain communication between people has been achieved. A team at the University of Washington created an interface allowing one-way communication directly between two human brains. The experiment involved two guys, some EEG equipment for recording brain activity, a TMS brain stimulator, plus a simple video game. The first participant wore an EEG cap that reads brain activity, while the other guy has a transcranial magnetic stimulation coil placed over his left motor cortex which is the region of the brain that controls hand movement. The first guy just imagined moving his right hand without actually moving it to click the fire button that you would use to shoot a cannon in this video game. Yes, success. Meanwhile, the second subject was halfway across campus and received that brain signal, and lo and behold, he involuntarily moved his finger to fire that cannon. <laughs> it was very exciting. Of course, the study was done under ideal, fixed conditions, so that genuine mind meld we all know from science fiction is still a distant prospect. <laughs> but the team says that the next challenge is to make the mind control go both ways, allowing for a two-way dialogue directly between two brains. So what do you guys think is the next step? As always, send us your reactions in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. For TFN, this is Annie.